Amable Guillaume Prosper Bruguière, Baron de Barante June 10, 1782 to November 22, 1866, was a French statesman and historian. Associated with the centre-left, he was described in France as the first man to call himself, without any embarrassment or restriction, a liberal. Life Barante was born at Riome, Puy de Dome, the son of an advocate. At the age of 16 he entered the École Polytechnique at Paris, and at 20 obtained his first appointment in the civil service. His abilities secured him rapid promotion, and in 1806 he obtained the post of auditor to the Council of State. After being employed in several political missions in Germany, Poland, and Spain, during the next two years, he became prefect of Vendée. At the time of the return of Napoleon I, he held the prefecture of Nantes, and this post he immediately resigned. On the second restoration of the Bourbons, he was made councillor of state and secretary general of the Ministry of the Interior. After filling for several years the post of Director General of Indirect Taxes, he was created in 1819 as a peer of France and was prominent among the Liberals. After the Revolution of July 1830, Barante was appointed ambassador to Turin, and five years later to St. Petersburg. Throughout the reign of Louis Philippe, he remained a supporter of the government, and after the fall of the monarchy, in February 1848, he withdrew from political affairs and retired to his country seat in Auvergne. Shortly before his retirement he had been made Grand Cross of the Legion of Honor. He died at the castle of Barante, near Thiers, in 1866. Works Barante's Histoire des Ducs de Bourgogne de la Maison de Valois, which appeared in a series of volumes between 1824 and 1828, procured him immediate admission to the Académie Française. Its narrative qualities, and purity of style, won high praise from the Romantic school, but it exhibits a lack of the critical sense and of scientific scholarship. Amongst his other literary works are a tableau de la littérature française au dix huitième siècle, of which several editions were published. Des communes et de l'aristocratie A French translation of the dramatic works of Schiller Questions constitutionnelles 1850. Histoire de la Convention nationale, which appeared in six volumes between 1851 and 1853 Histoire du directoire de la République française 1855. Etudes historiques et biographiques 1857. La vie politique de M. Royer Collard 1861 The version of Hamlet for Guizot's Shakespeare was his work. His souvenirs were published by his grandson Paris, 1890-99.